All right, first up, I'm here with Ken from the sampling team, who's going to show us how to take a water sample from our specially designed sample taps. Okay, now the next step is to take the uh, field measurements with our SL1000 hark. So, and then we just dip. Pull. Oh rid of and then we let that go. Okay once we've taken our samples uh, the micro goes in the bag and uh, both samples are then put in the fridge for chilling. Transport. See you back at the lab. I'm here with Jordan from the chemistry team. What are we going to do with the sample today, Jordan? So as soon as the sample comes into the lab, we'll be testing it immediately for pH and conductivity as it has the shortest holding time. And then we have a longer period of time to do other tests like uh, TOC and metals. So I'll just be doing a subsample for a metals test later on. Thanks for that, Jordan. All right, now I'm off to the microbiology lab. Last stop, I'm here with Jerome from the microbiology team. What are we going to test for today, Jerome? Hello, everybody. My name's Jerome, and we'll be testing E. coli using the pollen. After 18 to 22 hours, we bring back the colorant trays, and as we can see from here, there is no yellow, including the snow coliforms, and most important of all, there is no E. coli. So now that all the testing's done, what's next, Jerome? So we enter the results and get the results approved and send it over to water quality to be analyzed, and then we do it all over again. Thanks, guys. Thank you, everyone. See ya. Bye.